Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I promised you a video on gaslighting, and here it is. It's a very, very important uh, video for you to understand the difference between lying and manipulation and gaslighting. And the reason I'm talking about this is because we have a gaslighting card right in the tarot that uh, warns us of gaslighting. Uh, some people call it choices, uh, can be... Um, you know, options, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I call it gaslighting and I'm going to tell you why. So it goes, so gaslighting card is the seven of cups. And this is from the pulp tarot. And to me, this is the best description uh, for people to understand of the seven of cups, the gaslighting, uh, the confusion, the delusion. Um, and it, we show a genie's head here. And so this is, we associate genies like this, not with the Ed McMahon show, um, or not Ed McMahon, was he, uh, Johnny Carson, remember Johnny Carson used to put on that big hat? Anyways, that was, I digress. Um, it shows mind control. We always thought these genies had mind control or psychics or whatnot, and uh, they were able to control what went into our brains or our minds and they'd be mind readers and you'd be like oh wow how did you do that um, and that's exactly what gaslighting does it puts things into your mind and and we see in the traditional uh, seven of cups card the black is your um, sub it, it is your your mind uh, your mind and all of these are okay I have to back up here where do thoughts come from? They actually, when you think about it, where do your thoughts come from? They actually, as the ancients have taught us, they're actually floating around. And just think uh, your brain bumps into a thought and it enters into your brain kind of thing. Um, and we can see that in the seven, uh, the chariot, which is the seven, which is the body, mind and soul. And if you notice on this on the chariot, there's no reins here. And when we have our body, mind, and soul in complete harmony, we are in control of our lives. When one takes off, we are out of control in our life. We we and it takes a lot to get it back. Also to calm the mind and the soul. Um, you can do that by taking control of your body. Well, how do you do that? Well, um, you can control your body by what you ingest into it. Drugs, alcohol, smoking, uh, processed foods and whatnot. Everybody can. Everybody who, um, who abu abuses those things and not exercising, over-exercising is disrupting their mind or their soul. Usually your mind, your soul is very difficult to disrupt your soul. It takes a, uh, it really takes a lot. Because uh, your soul is pure, it's 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 a piece of God. Um, your mind and your body, however, are material elements of earth, and so we see the black. We we always wonder why is this person all in black? It's because this is your mind. Your mind is creating this confusion, this illusion, this delusion, uh, uh, putting way too many choices in into the mix. And these are coming from outside of you. These are la 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 floating around, and it just and then your mind chooses what to pick up on. All right, and this is I love this card because it shows other people can can give those ideas to you. And now we get to gaslighting. I just posted in the community mental poisoning. And this is exactly what it is. People um, giving you too many options, telling you things, telling you lies, manipulating you and whatnot. And then your mind, not your soul or your body, your mind accepts one of those. Maybe maybe accepts more than one, more than two. And then now you've really got some confusion going on. So gaslighting is a mind game. And generally it's from outside of your body, your your soul. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to read you a definition. Examples and signs of gaslighting and how to respond. 
Gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse where a person causes someone to question their sanity, memories, or perception of reality. People who experience gaslighting may feel confused, anxious, or unable to trust themselves. The term gaslighting comes from the name of a 1938 play and a 1944 film, Gaslight, in which a husband manipulates his wife into thinking she has a mental illness. In this article, we look at gaslighting, including common examples, signs, and causes. We also discuss how a person can respond to this behavior and how to seek help. Examples of gaslighting. Questioning someone's memory. Refusing to listen or faking confusion to make someone doubt themselves. Belittling or disregarding someone's feelings. Refusing to take responsibility for their actions. Change the focus of discussions by questioning someone's credibility. Using negative stereotypes against someone. According to the National Domestic Violence Hotline, gaslighting can happen in a variety of ways. Some examples include countering. This is when someone questions a person's memory. They may say things are you, like such as, are you sure about that? You have a bad memory. I think you're forgetting what really happened. Withholding. This involves someone pretending they do not understand the conversation or refusing to listen to make a person doubt themselves. For example, they might say, now you're just confusing me or I, don't, I do not know what you're talking about. Trivial, trivializing. This occurs when a person belittles or disregards how someone else feels. They may accuse them of being too sensitive or overreacting in response to valid and reasonable concerns. Denial. Denial involves a person refusing to take responsibility for their actions. They may do this by pretending to forget what happened, saying they did not do it, or blaming their behavior on someone else. Diverting. With this technique, a person changes the focus of the discussion by questioning the other person's credibility. For example, they might say, that is just nonsense you read on the internet. It is not real. Stereotyping. A 2019 article suggests that a person may intentionally use negative stereotypes about someone's gender, race, ethnicity, sexuality, nationality, or age to gaslight them. For example, they may say that no one will believe a woman if she reports abuse. Gaslighting is a method of gaining control over someone else. It works by breaking down a person's trust in themselves while increasing how much they trust or depend on the abusive person. Now, how many of those can you pinpoint to what Harry and Meghan are doing to the royal family and to the, the, the British citizens as a whole? Racial gaslighting. According to a 2021 article, Trusted Source, racial gaslighting is when people apply gaslighting techniques such as manipulation to an entire racial or ethnic group in order to discredit them. For example, a person or institution may say that an activist campaigning for change is irrational or crazy, or they may deny biases if someone confronts them about microaggressions. Now, gaslighting can work in intimate relationships, and that is, listen to this, in relationships, an abusive person may use gaslighting to isolate, isolate their partner, undermine their confidence, and make them easier to control. For example, they may tell someone they are irrational until the person starts to think it must be true. It also can happen in child-parent relationships, and that's abusive parents or caregivers may gaslight children to undermine them. For example, when a child cries, they may say they are too sensitive to shame them and make them stop. You can also have workplace gaslighting. Workplace gaslighting is a process that occurs in a work environment from someone in a position as power, such as a supervisor towards a, suburb, a, a subordinate. A gaslighting can also occur within a company, organization, or institution, such as a hospital. For example, they may portray whistleblowers who report problems as irrational or incompetent or deceive employees about their rights. People who experience gaslighting may find it difficult to recognize the signs. 
They may trust the abusive person or begin to believe that they are at fault in some way. For example, they may have become convinced they have a poor memory or oversensitive or misinterpreted a situation. Gaslighting may contribute to anxiety, depression, psychological trauma, especially if it's a part of a wider pattern of abuse. And then it goes on, if you think you're being gaslit, um, although it can be difficult for affected people to know if they are experiencing gaslighting, gathering proof could help them obtain reliable evidence and recognize the signs. Proof may include keeping a secret diary, talking with someone trustworthy, taking pictures. Photographs can also help someone fact check their memories, keeping voice memos. A device that can record sound can work as a quick way for someone to describe events in their own words. Be sure to make sure, be sure the gaslighter does not become aware of any recorded evidence. Gaslighting is a behavior that people learn by watching others. A person who uses this tactic may have learned it as an effective way of, be, of obtaining what they want or controlling people. They may feel entitled to have things their way or the wants and needs of others do not matter. Sometimes with people with per personality disorders, such as narcissistic personality disorder, exhibit abusive behavior. A 2023 tr article, Trusted Source, states that people with N NPD, narcissistic personality disorder, have a consistent need for admiration and attention, a belief that they are better than everyone else or special in some way, a lack of empathy. Oh, where did that rest of it go? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I guess I think that was it. Lack of empathy. Those just those three. Um, there we go. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> okay, so those three. And I think we know exactly who we're talking about with this consistent need of admiration and attention, a belief that they are better than everyone else or special in some way, a lack of empathy. This combination of symptoms can lead to an unhealthy relationship. However, gaslighting is not always due to a mental health condition. Anyone can engage in this behavior. Gaslighting has a significant impact on mental health. So people who experience it need to make sure they look after theirs. There are several ways to protect oneself from forming this, from this form of abuse. So, and I just listed, and it says they may include safety, a safe place to go, escape routes, emergency contacts, and uh, and anyone who believes they're experiencing abuse of any kind should seek support. It's not uncommon for emotional abuse to escalate into physical violence. Even if the abuse does not become physical, gaslighting and similar behaviors can significantly undermine a person's self-esteem and mental health. Remember, so what is exactly gaslighting someone? Gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse where a person causes someone to question their sanity, memories, or perception of reality. What's the difference between gaslighting and manipulation? Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse where one person manipulates another person into doubting their own perceptions, memories, and san sanity. Alternity, alternatively, manipulation, according to the American Psychological Association, can be defined as behavior designed to exploit, control, or otherwise influence others to one's advantage. Gaslighting is just one tactic or behavior among many that a person may use to manipulate others. What's the difference between gaslighting and narcissism? Gaslighting involves one person manipulating another into doubting their own perceptions, memories, and sanity. It is a form of emotional abuse and is not limited to romantic relationships. It can occur in familial, professional, and social contexts. Narcissism, meanwhile, is a personality trait that exists on a spectrum. It is characterized by a trusted source, a sense of entitlement, 
grandiose self-views, a self-superiority, a lack of empathy for others. While not all narcissists engage in gaslighting, they may use it as a tactic to manipulate others. Gaslighting is a type of abuse that causes someone to, de to doubt their own perceptions or sanity. It can occur in any kind of relationship, but, also in, but often involves an imbalance of power. People who experience gaslighting may feel confused or as, or, or as though they cannot do anything right. They may question their memories or worry that they have a mental illness. They may also defend the abusive person's behavior and feel reliant on them. Finding safe ways to document events, create a safety plan, or leave a relationship are important as ways to protect oneself from gaslighting as well as other forms of emotional abuse. And I just gathered a bunch of information about gaslighting because I wanted to make sure that I um, had all my facts. And anywhere I um, saw, um, cited a source there where I said trusted source, if you want to see the source, uh, put, a, put a note down in the comments and I'll be glad to give you all the sources that I used. Gaslighting is not just lying. Gaslighting is emotionally manipulating you um, into uh, believing um, you're wrong and they're right, even when you know you're right, even when you know you're right. Um, uh, and I like that part about it can be racial as well and say, oh, yeah, all, all British citizens are, are this is a, a nation of racists. And yet look at the leaders that are clearly not white. Um, I, I just, I, I can't believe that people say that and then people believe it. And when their own eyes are telling them something completely different. Um, but yeah, they uh, getting back to how this applies to the tarot. So this, this is your mind accepting all these things that are coming to you from the gaslighting person. And which ones do you accept and which ones do you don't? This is confusion. This is delusion. None of this is real. Um, and especially this is on the emotional level because it's cups. And that's where the um, gaslighter can get you is on the emotional level. level. Uh, some of the other sevens also have, you know, look at the um, uh, the seven of swords. You know, sneaking away with something or... Uh, being sly about something, uh, you know, the seven of wands, you're defending yourself from all these things. When you get the seven of wands, you're much stronger than the seven of cups. The seven of swords, this is the strategy. This is the gaslighter stealing some of your, your sanity. When you have the seven of wands, you're strong enough. You're, you're, you stand your ground. And you're like, no, that's not true. No, that's not true. I know my truth. I know my truth. Uh, seven of pentacles, you question time. It's, uh, you question uh, your actual physical body work that you have to. This is hard work, that investments that pay off. And you question time. How much longer is this going to take? Is this worth it? Um, you know, so you might be gaslit into thinking, oh, you just start a farm and you're going to be rich. <laughs> Uh, you know, somebody might have convinced you of something like that or plant these magic beans. <laughs> Remember what was the, the story? Um, Jack and the Beanstalk. So you're gaslit into uh, different time timelines when it when it's seven of pentacles. But yeah, the chariot is your mind, body and soul. When it, the, you are in control of all three, you're very balanced. Because this, this chariot's not going anywhere. He's not on wheels. He's on water. There's water behind there. These aren't, there's no reins here. You have to control it. You have to control your mind and your soul. And so when the gaslighter comes in, they, they, get they take your your mind out of out of the picture and now you're out of control but yeah i love this 
seven of cups. This is the one, when I saw this, I went, this is it. This is the gaslighting. This is the mind control that the person puts on you and confuses you. So you question everything about you. So, and this can be, uh, for example, um, somebody who says they're putting black magic on you or they're putting a spell on you. What if you didn't believe in that? What if you didn't believe in voodoo? What if you never, what if you never ever heard of voodoo in your whole life? You live on an island in the middle of the Pacific, a, des a deserted island, and you're Georgia the jungle. You have no access to the outside world. You're a survivor, and you've never ever heard of voodoo in your life. Would it affect you? What if you never heard of black magic? Would it affect you? What if you never heard of, you know, casting a spell? Or what if you never heard of Mercury retrograde? What if you didn't believe in Mercury retrograde? Would it, would it still affect you? So this is to be really discerning what, what comes into your mind. This is why fake news is so, so dangerous. This is why the media is so dangerous. The mainstream media is so dangerous because this is your division of politics. This is your division of races. Uh, this is your division of, of um, everything because it confuses you. It takes you out of your control, your game. It's using mind power to control your emotions. All right, so I'm not an expert on gaslighting. I just know a little bit about it. Uh, some of you don't know, but I do have my um, counseling diploma from 1995, believe it or not. Um, and I do a little bit of counseling on the side. And so I'm not an expert by any means, but I know where to find the expert information on it. So if you need more information, let me know in the comments. I'll gladly post those sources for you. And uh, if you think you're being gaslit, um, like the, the article says, um, start to gather evidence so you know you're not crazy and um, start to uh, maybe look around where some safe places are for you to go. Um, and and to get out from under the control of this person who's gaslighting you and get back into control of your own life. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>